How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be covering how to use your cell phone as a webcam. Now this will work for iPhone, Android, PC, Windows, Mac, and you'll be able to connect your phone to your computer and use it as a webcam. I have two different methods. One's going to be wireless over Wi-Fi and the other method's going to be via USB. I will be using Windows and Android because that's what I have on hand, but it should still work for iPhone. Usually our cell phones have better quality imaging than our built-in webcam and might have extra cell phones laying around so you could even use an old cell phone for this. But let's get started. You're first going to want to navigate to the Erian website. And once you get there you can download it for Windows, Mac, or Ubuntu. So basically you have to install something on your computer, an application on your computer, and you're going to install an application on your phone. Right now we'll install it on our computer. And then I'm going to click on Windows because that's what I have. I'm going to click on Save. Save this file. That's going to go ahead and download it. And once that gets complete I'm going to execute it, open it up. And got to say yes to this. And I got to agree to these terms and conditions. Let's do a fast read of that. It's going to say where it's going to install. Just hit next. Everything by default is pretty good. Yes. And we'll launch it now. So I'll leave that checked. And here we go. It's saying I don't have a webcam connected yet. So I need to connect mine. So let's go over to our phone and install the app there. Now since I have Android, I'm going to go to the Google Play. But if you had iPhone, you'd want to go to the App Store. Start typing in Erian. I like this application because it's 100% free and the video quality is good. So once that gets complete, click on open and then click continue. You can choose to allow the mic or you can use your computer mic and the video. So you have to give it permissions and allow those. As you can see it's starting to display here in the computer already. I have my Erian webcam application running on my computer and you can see it's my phone is streaming to the computer. And you can also change the video format down here to different resolutions that your camera will support on your phone. I notice there's a watermark up in the top left but it seems to fade away after you're using it for a while. And let's go over to OBS and I'll show you how you activate it here if you use OBS. If you go down to sources and click the plus symbol and then go up to video capture device click on that and you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it by default but you could name it Erion. Click OK and then for device on the drop down here you want to choose Erion webcam. Click OK. Now you can see it's capturing that with inside OBS. So that's how you add it to OBS. So let's go back to our desktop and close the Erium webcam. And if you go into Google Meet, navigate to that, you could use it with Zoom as well. But I noticed the first time it wouldn't let me pick it from the drop down. I could not pick the Erium webcam. So in order to get this to work and be able to recognize the Erium cam, I had to restart my computer. So if you don't see your camera here, you'll want to restart the computer and then it should find it. And so I'll restart my computer now and show you what it should do when you fire it up. If you have to leave, remember to uh, bookmark this page or subscribe. It's a perfect time to subscribe so that you can easily find this video again when you return. And it really helps me out. I appreciate it. So now I've just restarted my computer. Click on the Erium webcam that's on the desktop. And it's connected. And my phone's still connected via Wi-Fi. I'm just going to leave it on automatic. I'm going to close this window.
And now when I go to Google Meet, since I've restarted it since installing the, uh, the app here, it should be able to find it. Yep, it has Erium webcam here now. And I click allow and allow and allow for the camera and you can choose to use the mic of your phone or you could choose a different mic if you had a different mic that you could use for input. And as you can see it's working. Here's our little surfer dude. And now let's join the meeting. And here he is again. I actually got that guy in Hawaii. As you can see it's able to record. It's pretty clean. And that was just on the automatic settings. Alright, so now we're done with the Google Meet. That works. Let's go over to the phone and I'll show you how to do this with USB if you want to just do USB. So make sure your Wi-Fi is turned off on your phone. And at this point, plug your phone into your computer via the USB. And this again is on an Android. I imagine it's similar for an iPhone, but I can't test it on an iPhone. I don't have one of those available right now. So you want to go into settings and then go down to about phone. The first thing we got to do is get this into developer mode under software information. So you want to tap on the build number seven times consecutively. Then it's going to ask you for a password. So enter your password in. I'm going to blur mine out here. And now it says developer mode's been turned on. So now you're in developer mode. Now go back up to your camera app on your phone. And when you launch that, it's going to say you need to enable USB debugging. And so when you click on that, it'll open the developer options. And we're able to see this now because we unlocked the developer mode earlier. Go down and turn on that USB debugging. Now it says it's for development use purposes only, so we'll also turn this off. I'll show you how to turn it off after we're done using this. I just click OK here. I do not save the uh, fingerprint. You could if you wanted to, but... I'm just using this temporarily so and now when you go back into the app it should be good and as you can see we're able to record and we're connected via USB and now when you're done with the USB for safety reasons and security we'll turn off debugging mode under settings now since developer mode is enabled at the very bottom you should see developer options you can click on that and then turn it off that's just for added security if you're not using developer mode. And you're all set. Please consider liking and subscribing if this helped you out and saved you some money. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.